Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Rounds, hundred rounds, hold me down. this facial framing body but still classy I don't want to say this is an everyday type of look because it's not but it gives what it's supposed to give it's not too much it's not too little it gives in every category I love it so I'm not gonna chat for too long if y'all want to see how I got this look thank you for watching all right y'all so shout out to CD here for sending me this HD 24 inch frontal wig let's just applaud the sides of the wig it's more than two inches on each side y'all know the factory made wigs nowadays is always two inches we can't do nothing but wait in the center part but y'all see y'all gonna see how bomb this side part came out period and it was thick can't complain can't complain so first things first I'm just gonna go into my bald cap method I never really do it on camera but I decided to show y'all today and instead of using God to be I decided to use my adhesive because I did want to keep my wig on for a few days. And if you do not know, using adhesive on your edges to lay down your ball cap, yes, it can be kind of tedious if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do, it can lead you to have a super, super, super long hold and a super long install. So that's what we wanted. So I'm going to go on with my Erica J adhesive. The big bottle, of course. This lasted me for so long now at this point because I don't use too much. You know, I do like a layer or two. If you hear purring in the back, that's Stitch. He always likes to make a debut in all my videos. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to um, trace my hairline and everything like that. And I'm not going to make it too thick because I don't want to cover my edges. I just want it to be secure enough, you know. So I'm just putting a nice little thin layer and tracing my hairline. Then I'm going to let it dry. And obviously, it doesn't take too long to dry. Probably like two minutes. With a blow dry, it might dry a little bit faster. But I'm just like, I just find something else to do while it dries. But... Yes, I'm going to trace my hairline. You want to make sure you go halfway behind the ear, if that makes sense. You don't want it to stop straight by the sideburn. And then when you cut it, the whole ear part is going to be exposed. And that's super annoying. So, as y'all can see, the hairline is kind of like transparent. And you know when you cut the lace, it could be but so transparent. Like, you're going to see the cap depending on how good you lay it. But I feel like when you use the adhesive, it helps disguise it a hundred and million times better. I swear, I recommend this method. But if you're not going to keep it on that long or you're still a beginner or don't know how to properly remove it, I would not suggest using an adhesive to lay down your ball cap because I don't want you I don't want y'all blaming me for the reason why y'all edges is coming out and all that extra stuff we ain't doing it so now I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm just gonna blend it out really have it looking real bold like real movie bold you know how they do on a movie set when they try to make them bold that's that's what we're going for and I don't put too much on the actual front I try to put it behind because the front is already transparent so it's no need to put makeup on it really so I just take it and I put it behind the transparent part and just keep it pushing.
I do mention to you guys all the time that I have so many plucking videos, so I'm not going to go too much in depth about it, but I always use the pluck skip method to pluck my wigs and they come out bomb every single time. There's no miss. It doesn't matter how thick your front two is, nothing. A pluck skip method will always work for you. Just make sure you don't bold it. You do want to pluck, you do want to skip, but you do not want to bold. So pay close attention. And if this, if you want, you know, a little bit more information or just want to see a better example or whatever the case may be, I do have plucking videos on my channel so make sure you guys scroll down and take a look for yourself I'm gonna take my flat iron and mist and I'm gonna spray it all over this wig now this helps give sheen and protection at the same time and it's super lightweight it does have my hair oily I know some of y'all probably looking like girl that's a lot I know and they do not look any type of oily I promise you if you use this product you will not have any type of oily finish I can promise that you have my word and it's a great investment that stitch who always likes to come in my videos and make his little debut because he just always likes being around that's just stitch Hey, get away from me. So yeah, um, I'm just thoroughly pro um, blow drying my hair through. And I just want to get it as straight as possible. Obviously, it, the hair was initially body waved, so it's not going to get super straight. But the mission is to get it as straight as possible. So that's what you guys just see me doing right now. So I did go off camera and I did put the wig on my head to see right where the side part should fit. I don't recommend you doing a side part on the wig head because that's not the real size of your head nor your hairline. So you want to just take it off, the wig off the wig head, and you just want to kind of put it on your head and see where you want the part. It's, you can never go wrong with that and it's just so much easier. Like it just, uh, it takes away so much more the problems. And then if you do a side part on the uh, mannequin head and then you put it on your head, you're like, I do not like this. It's too far over. It's not far enough. You're going to get so irritated. So definitely take it off when you finish plucking it and make your side part while it's on your head. So now we're gonna go into some layers. Now I always like how short I like my layers, but you always wanna start long and then go back in and cut it again. I know exactly where I want mine specifically, which is why I cut mine so short. But you, if you're new to layering and things like that, you always wanna start longer and you wanna cut at a diagonal angle. I'm not a pro, I'm still learning myself. I did not go to cosmetology school, nor do I have a cosmetology license. But when y'all see the final product, and as y'all saw in the beginning, clearly I know what I'm talking about to a certain extent. So I just take the hair, I all comb it into one section, and then I cut it diagonally. It's just, it's something you just gotta practice from time to time. Maybe watch a few videos, a few little Instagram clips, I promise. If you are a visual learner like me, it'll be nothing to learn.
All right, y'all, so I know I look mad crazy. I don't have on lashes. I didn't do my lips, but I think I'm going to do that while the hair is sitting in the, um, while the hair is setting after I put the adhesive and everything, just so I can have something to do while it's holding. I don't want it to stay in the board. So I'm going to put on the lashes and the lips once um, I finish doing the dab and everything. Because I know y'all about to look at my girl. What is going on? Y'all, I've been working. <laughs> So work with me please. But yeah, so let me hurry up. I already been working for so so long. Let's hurry up and get this way going so I can give y'all this look. And I'm in the middle of making a TikTok, so I think it's gonna be a little fine. So just work with me, work with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
I got a cute little shirt on. I wish I could tell y'all where I got this shirt from because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I, I really don't remember, but this is so cute. Hold on, because y'all know for my petite busty girls, y'all know we go through a lot just to get stuff to fit a certain way. But this, this shirt is so cute. If I remember where I got this shirt from, which I really don't, I got this shirt way over almost two years ago. But if I remember... I'll let y'all know, but I'm not gonna lie, I highly doubt I'm gonna remember. I really feel so bad, I'm so sorry. But look at this. Oh, yes. This is given. Oh, it's given. And it's like, I don't know if I wanna do it more in my face or I don't know. I don't know. But y'all have been working for hours at this point. Jeez. So for all my YouTube supporters, I feel like this time around, I'm gonna tell y'all about the wig sale way before I tell Instagram, because Instagram, everybody got on Instagram, they watch and they get it and they save the date and they be hounding me like, girl, I better not miss a wig this time. You better save a wig. They be cut, ooh, the girls be cussing me out. I don't got no time for that. But y'all so loyal to me and I love y'all so much. So I'm gonna tell y'all about the wig sale first. I don't have an official day. I don't know how soon I'll be doing it, but just know y'all gonna be the first people to know when I'm doing it. And I'll probably let y'all know like a week ahead or so. Even a month or so before. It's not gonna be too expensive. The wigs always range from 100 to 200 dollars. So it's wigs that I wear once, of course. And I just wash it and really do it up for y'all. Just in case y'all wanna buy a new wig or you don't mind, you know, um, we doing a wig up yourself you don't mind me wearing it one time most of the time i don't go outside and even if i do the wigs that i do do for the sale i thoroughly wash them and stuff but yeah whatever how y'all feeling about this look hold on this one girl back here wasn't trying to let me win but how is y'all feeling about this look oh grown and sexy i wish i had on a long skirt i'm trying to think if i got a skirt because i wish this silverware was gold because i have a skirt i could wear with it like dress it up real nice but now i think i'm gonna just find a different outfit to wear with it but this look yes giving grown sexy classy Ooh. let me make sure that i don't got no neck slips but let me know how y'all feeling about this look down in the comments below. Once again, to get this look, the key to this look is layering and the flick of the wrist when you're curling. So if you was watching throughout the video and you feel like you really got it or if you feel like you just got to watch it over a few times just to get it, take your time. You know, practice makes perfect. And if I can learn it, y'all can learn it. You know, we all going to have some good, bouncy facial face framing layers. It's like a tongue tie, like tongue twister, whatever. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate all of y'all. And if you're still tuned in, thank you so much for watching. I love you personally. Yeah, you. I know I'm talking to a camera, but yeah, I know y'all can feel me through the screen when I'm talking to y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, loves. Give me, they don't hold me down. Know me now. Act like you don't know me now.